So the first card we're going to make is a beautiful thank you card. To make the thank you card, the first thing you want to do is start out with a solid piece of paper, which we took our burgundy paper. Then take another colored sheet to add a little bit of the color to match your embossed impression. Then you want to take another solid sheet and then rip your edge along your white piece of paper. We're going to show you how to put a little pastel on there to match the card. And then finally, we took a strand of string and beaded it and glued it down our card to make a beautiful thank you card. So we're going to get started. I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. And first I'm going to show you how to get the embossed pastel look. Turn the light table on. And the first thing we're going to do is put our piece of paper, put our stencil down first onto your light table, and then put your piece of paper right on top. Then I'm going to use the wax paper again. We're going to start out by rubbing a little wax paper over there so it makes everything smooth. And I'm going to take my stylus and we're just going to trace all the cutouts of my stencil. That's going to push the paper through here again, just like Katie showed you before, and we're going to get the embossed impression. So I'm going to trace this flower right here. Another great thing about this stenciling is if you ever miss a piece, you can turn off your light table and check yourself to make sure you got all of those pieces. So you can see I got my beautiful embossed impression. Now that we've embossed our thank you card, we're going to have some fun and color it in. So what I'm going to do next is flip over my stencil. We're going to line this up so it fits right into place. And we're going to color it in some burgundies and greens to match our card. So we're going to start out by taking three scoops of the burgundy. One, two, three. And I'm going to color that right into my flower. And you can have so much fun blending with these pastels. I can go right into my blue. Blend a little blue. Blue blends right into the burgundy. It's that easy. We'll take a little bit of the green for my stem. So we'll just add a little touch of that green. And then we'll go back into some darker burgundy so we can shade. And I'm going to shade some dark burgundy. And then we'll get some more of the blue over on this side. So when I'm all finished, I'll just put a little red in here too to add that extra touch. I'm going to lift this up and then tap that off. So I've got my beautiful note card. Now, if you ever get any little pieces, just like Katie showed you before, we have this wonderful eraser. I got a little drop right there. That'll come right off. And this will not come off your paper. That will fully seal. To do your border, what you want to do next is just take a scrap piece of paper. I'm going to put my green right here, just my scrap piece of paper. And we're going to make that border. So I'm going to take a little bit more of my burgundy. And you want to go at an angle. I'll take a little bit of the darker burgundy. And just match those colors that you put right into your card. So we'll take a little bit of the blue and then some of the green. And what you want to do is go all around your card so you get your beautiful border. If you ever get any of those marks, you have about two minutes to erase those right off there. So I'm going to just erase that right off. So you can see, here's my finished card. And here's my card that I'm doing. I went all around the whole edge. So you want to continue that around your three other sides there. The next thing we want to do is we want to place all of our sheets of paper in front of us and we're going to layer them. So you want to take again your glue stick and you just want to glue this down, make a little square. That's what I usually do with a, an X in the middle so it definitely holds. And then you want to take your colored paper, place it on top of your solid burgundy paper, and just glue that right on top. Then we're going to do the same thing for the green. So flip that over. We're going to make another square with an X in it. And then we're going to lay this right on top of our colored sheet of paper. So we've got our layered look with our three pieces of paper. Then, since you've embossed this and colored it in, we're going to put a little glue right in the green and then place our embossed colored thank you card right on top. So you've got your beautiful card. Then for that extra touch, we took a beaded strand and what you want to do with that is just straighten that out, place that on top here, and then we're going to flip that over. And there's wire that we use 
So the wire, just fold that in the back and you can take either a hot glue gun or you can take your glue stick and you can glue that down. So that'll just layer that even more on top and give you that 3D look, which comes out beautiful.